One thing I've learned over the years is most of us are visual learners. And that chop box, all that serves for, it's a prop. It's a prop that when we're going out to practice, we can do nothing about all our worldly issues, but we can do something about what's about to happen on this practice field. So we put our thoughts in the box. Another day, another no matter what, people are always going through situations, whether it's in your personal life, in relationships, whatever the case may be, you have to put that aside and chop the moment. Everybody got their own families, everybody got their own, everybody has issues, everybody got stuff that's going on in their life. So we got the chop box based on the fact that when we about to step on that field, you gotta put them thoughts away, you put it in the box. They'll be there when you get done, but you gotta go into the uh, game field, you gotta go into the practice field with a clear mind to be able to focus on doing your job and what you gotta do out there. We put those thoughts to the side and we go to work. It's a unique way of just focusing on the task at hand, ultimately chopping through the moment. But when it's time for the practice to end, you go get your thought back and you go back into reality, the issues, the family, the stuff that you gotta deal with. I have an exam for entrepreneurship. But look, as responsible young men, when we leave that field, we gotta pick up those issues. We gotta pick up those thoughts, those responsibilities, because they don't go away. And you know what? Football is a great game for a lot of reasons, but one of them is you do get to escape. You do get to go do something you love. But as a responsible young man, you need to take care of your job. South Rutgers, what up? You need to take care of your responsibilities as a, as a son, as a boyfriend, as a student. All the things that you put in that box, you gotta pick them back up, and you gotta tend to them when you leave. Wait low, wait low,